Welcome back to New Central. Now, they have already upset the bookmakers' favorites. The bright, sprightly stars from Ghana are turning opinions on its head and shining the light of the world again on women's football in the country. Ghana and Wafu B champions Ampim Dakwa ladies kickstart uh, the Akaf Women's Champions League campaign with a stellar win uh, over defending champions AS Far Club on Monday evening. And listen, I'll do you one better. Let's go to Ivory Coast now and speak to Abigail Senna Sosu, who is a sports journalist. Uh, with the team. She's joining us uh, live from Ivory Coast. Uh, thank you so much, Abigail, for joining us here. Uh, big performance on Monday against the reigning champions. Talk to us about this. Um, thank you for having me as well this afternoon. Well, from Monday, it was a, a Herculean task for the team led by Coach Jordan Adakwa. I'm sure leaving Ghana, a lot of people did not give Ampim Dakwa that dog's chance, given that they were new entrants into this competition and had to kickstart to the defending champions. But if you speak to Coach Jordan Adakwa, they were venturing into doing something new and continuing to turn heads, like Indeed. you said. So it was um, a day where they went into that game and thought this was it. We didn't come here just because of us far, but beating us far will go a long way to ignite that confidence we wish Ghanaians had had in us. Indeed, before. Abigail, let's we make this. Indeed, Abigail, let's make this even better. Let's take a listen to uh, the coach, Joe Adakwa. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for this opportunity again. Um, we won our first game. We are happy about that, but we are not done yet. We will come to the second game with determination and everything so that we can win the next game. Yeah, we are done with the first game. We are happy and we are going to work towards that game. We, we are not going to sit down and say we won the first match, so we are going to sleep. We, we will keep on working hard so that we can win the next game and say true. We want to be at the top of the group. Yeah. Oh, we we watched them the other day. We play first game and they play the second game. We watch them, but we can bring our arsenals for people to see. So we are going to hide it and bring it. We want to surprise them so we are not coming out with our arsenals. Abigail, Coach Adakwa says that they are working hard because they want to be yeah. on top. You are with the team. Tell us how prepared they are for the game this evening. Uh, this evening is going to be um, a very lively one, if you're asking, because after Monday, like you rightly said, the minute we got to the game villa, everyone threw that as far win away and concentrated on AS Monday because we wanted to we want to make it um, nine out of nine. So um, Tuesday morning, we had a little recovery and a shake-up, but yesterday was a full training session for the team. And we uh, we had a little scare with Jennifer Usu, who was playing on the wings, but she quickly recovered and has joined the team in full training. For Mary Ampons, she's still behind time. But we are hoping that today, this evening, um, the team will be ready again to give us that spirited performance again. Uh, scale, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, how well do you think they are prepared for this? If there's one thing I've come to love about this team is how they encourage themselves. They had a short meeting yesterday and they pointed out each other's mistakes. And so um, if I'm going to go by that and how they have responded to training, I'll give Ghana a 9.5. Ah, looks good for them, doesn't it? But we've seen Hazaka's ladies in the past reach the final. Can Ampem Dakwa uh, ladies go a step further and win the ultimate, do you think? I think that um, they are, they are, they'll be able to do that, even from the handler's point of view. Here we are, Jonah Nadaka, you conquered Ghana, conquered West Africa, and the opportunity has been handed you to conquer Africa. It goes a long way to improve your CV. So right from the head to the last person who even has the opportunity to sit on the bench, they know what it means to win this trophy. And also, um, remember that if they're able to win this one, it means that the next time this competition will be held, Ghana will have two slots. And so um, it's the we are trying to kill two beds with a stone, hoping that we win and also give the chance to another Ghanaian club to come and experience this wonderful competition. I see. It sounds like their progress means a lot to women's football. Talk to us about that. 
I, I believe that when we're able to um, get to that point to win the trophy, yes, um, already when you come here in Ivy Coast, it was wonderful to see how men, children, and women came out to watch the team. And every other person wanted to speak to the girls. It's, it is showing clearly that we are beginning to embrace the game. And it's beautiful to see how Hazaka set the tone in the maiden edition. And I'm thinking that point is continuing. When it happens this way, CAF um, and the governing bodies will have a reason to pump more money already. They've done so this time around, giving um, Ghana their, or I'm thinking that point, their parents fee of over mm -hmm. $100,000. Um, and so that goes along with to show us that if we do the right things, they are the right people ready to invest and make the game proper. We are taking the ladies out of the kitchen or the mindset where um, the bus stops with getting married and having children. Now, the ladies can equally have a life if they decide to play football. And if they do so well, clearly they can also go out there, make some cash, and then maybe life with some marriage can continue for them. You make a good point, and this all sounds fantastic. Thank you very much, Abigail. Abigail Sena Susu there, uh, joining us from Ivory, Ivory Coast as a uh, Ampim Dakwa ladies. Uh, you know, make waves in women's football on the continent.